Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are diving into to-do list applications and I'm only talking about to-do list applications. So if you're looking for daily planners like Morgan or Sunsama, that's another video. I won't go into daily planner apps, only basic to-do list apps. And some of these I actually use myself to track small tasks like taking out the trash, going for a walk, calling my parents, calling my friends, small things like that. And I use it in addition to my calendar app. And some of these have integrations with calendars as well. But let's jump into the first one, which is called Amazing Marvin. And Amazing Marvin is sort of the build a bear of uh, to-do list applications. You can actually create your own to-do list applications uh, application inside of this. We have things like uh, workflow templates where you can use some of the templates, for example, a week list, a month list, Eisenhower day matrix, Eisenhower matrix. You have Pomodoro shortcut, you have short tasks, you have next actions and things like that. You can also set up uh, templates uh, for this app to mimic some of the more known uh, to-do list applications like Things Tree, Wonderlist, which is now Microsoft To Do, so this needs to be updated. Uh, to Doist, Nirvana, and so on. But if you do not want to do that, you can actually go in here and you can go over some of the features and you can toggle these off and on depending on what you like. So everything from category context, subtasks, labels, top of mind, task sharing, there is so many things inside of here and you could toggle these on and off depending on how you would like your to-do list app to be. So as I said, so many things inside of here. I have some of them toggled on, um, some of them I have not toggled on because I don't need them. But basically what you can do is that you can build your own to-do list applications inside of this app, which is a really cool thing. But it does come with a steep pricing compared to some of the others. It costs $8 each month if built yearly, or if built monthly, it costs $12 each month. So uh, it is a little bit more expensive than some of the options. However, it offers something that none of the other apps do, and that is the ability to actually uh, pick and choose from all of the features that a to-do list application can have, not should have, but can have. Uh, so that is something really cool, and I understand that it costs costs a little bit more but if you are tired of to-do list applications not working and you want to set up your own to-do list application with the features you actually need this app might be for you the next one is microsoft to do which is probably the best if you are integrated into the microsoft ecosystem because this works really great with uh, Microsoft Outlook as well as uh, Microsoft OneNote. So I use this for work. This is my private uh, Microsoft to-do, but at work, at my day job, I use Microsoft to-do to track everything because we are stuck in the Microsoft ecosystem. You can create yourself different lists. You have a My Day View important assigned to me emails and it is just a beautiful and really underrated applications uh, especially for uh, people who uh, use the microsoft ecosystem on a day-to-day -day basis so i would recommend this probably for people who want an easy to use to-do list application nothing fancy nothing special you have everything you need from recurring tasks to reminders to due dates and you can even do calendar blocking with Microsoft Outlook if you use uh, Microsoft to do and the Outlook calendar on a computer. It is not possible on 
on a mobile phone. I haven't tested on an iPad, but at least on the computer it is possible and it is a really cool feature. So this is a really underrated to-do list application that I think people should use a lot more, especially if you are integrated in the Microsoft ecosystem. The next application we are going to talk about is actually called Toos. I have done uh, videos on this before, but basically you have lists where you can store things and you have daily lists. This is actually one of the two to-do list applications I use uh, because of the quick capture functionality. So it has a WhatsApp integration and an email integration as well. I mostly use the WhatsApp one to text myself tasks whenever I am on the go. And I have two because the other one is not available on uh, web or on Windows, so I need one for whenever I'm out or at work and don't have my Mac with me. Uh, this is one of my favorite apps and it is great for note taking as well, but I love the to-do list functionality. So the way I use this is that these are all tasks that I have to do someday. None of them are actually, this one is actually done, but none of them uh, actually have a due date. I just have to get them done at some point. So this is more of do someday, a do someday list. And every single day I just move them over to the next day until I finish everything. So things that are not time bound, I put into uh, this app. Really simple to use, really fun to use. They have um, a reward system with coins here as well and stats if you like to track how many things you have written down, how many tasks you have done and so on. So a little bit of gamification inside of this as well. Then we have an older one that a lot of people love. This is actually called Todoist and Todoist is probably one of the best ones out there with a lot of neat new features coming and it is starting to catch up with some of the daily planner apps that have taken more of the market. Uh, but basically this is a simple to-do list application. As you can see, I haven't actually used this since January. Uh, I tried it out. It isn't for me personally, but I know that a lot of people do love this. So uh, just to add another thing, both Tos and To Do are free, while uh, Microsoft, while Todoist has uh, a paid plan and a free plan. I am on the free plan, and the major difference in uh, the free uh, plan and the paid plan is how many projects you can have over here. At least for me, that is the biggest concern because. I have five projects right now and I would like to have some more, but you are stuck on five projects on uh, the free plan. That is uh, one of the things that is bothering me with the free plan, but we will get more into pricing later. You have this sort of Kanban view now, which is something new in the application. It is available in different languages as well. so. This is in Norwegian, uh, which many apps do not offer, but it is really easy to uh, add a task. You can drag tasks along. Um, so sort of a Kanban view here for weekly planning. Uh, it has a little bit of gamification as well with uh, Karma, as it is called. Uh, it allows you to gain points for every uh, task accomplished and you can set how many tasks you want to accomplish in each week. You have filters here as well. Uh, it has an integration with GCAL. Uh, I have tested it out, not used it enough to give my opinion on it. But overall, this is probably one of the best to-do list applications on here. And to take a look at the pricing, so the pricing is around three and a half dollars each month. Let me actually change this to dollars so we can get four dollars it is each month. Uh, so 48 dollars for a year, that's the yearly plan. Um, and the monthly plan is five dollars each month. 
So what you get with the pro plan is actually reminders, a calendar layout, 300 projects, 150 filters, AI assistant, which is really good. This AI assistant can actually help you to structure your tasks better and give you um, and give you subtasks and help you figure out what the next step of is on a bigger task. Uh, but the calendar layout is huge as well as the projects, getting more projects. But it doesn't come at an expensive price and it is definitely worth it paying the four dollars it, it costs each month to get a full-fledged great to-do list application. The next app we have is actually called TickTick and TickTick has probably the cheapest pricing I've ever seen in a productivity app. $35.99 less than $3 each month for the yearly plan which is it is really cheap. Um, it is an amazing application. It is available uh, almost everywhere even on the Apple Watch. It has extensions as well. Um, and it has a lot of great features. Now let's jump into it to see what TickTick actually offers. So as you can see, it is really similar to what uh, to-do list offers with the different lists, which are projects in to-do lists. And it is the same as uh, Microsoft to-do offers as well. You can subscribe it to a calendar, which I have done. That is on the pro plan. Uh, and you can also add things like a Pomodoro timer, a calendar view, uh, again, the pro plan. So you have a calendar view here, which is available on the pro plan. You have Eisenhower matrix, which I know a lot of people do love and use. You have a Pomodoro timer, which actually tracks uh, your time focused as well for those of you who like tracking and there are two ways to use this. You can use this as a Pomodoro timer or as a stopwatch. I personally prefer the stopwatch in every Pomodoro app I use. And you can also add a habit tracker on top of here. It has search. You can add notes to your different tasks. So let me see if I can find a task. This is a task I can add notes in the description here as well. And I can easily check it off, add a due date and uh, add repeating tasks, reminders and how long a task will take. So this offers a lot for the cheap pricing it has. And it was one of the first to-do list applications I personally used. I used it for I think it was around uh, six months and you get a seven day view, a two day view. And again, on the pro plan, you get the calendar view. The next app we are going to cover is probably the one that is the most different from every other app we have touched on. This app is called Time Stripe and it scares me, like really scares me because it has a whole nother way of looking at uh, looking at to-do lists. So this wants you to plan your to-dos accordingly to your goals and the things you want to accomplish in life. So we have something called Horizon, which shows you the today, week, month, year and life. So I did this example on a different YouTube video. So let's say my goal in life was to become a professional football player. This week I have to send out emails about trials. This month my goal should be to go on a trial. This year my goal should be to be signed by team. And today that means that I have to exercise for half an hour. Just to show you an example, not that I am going to become a professional footballer. I am terrible. Anyways, uh, you can also add uh, different boards from the templates they have or create your own. So we have a Kanban, we have a reading list template, a project planning template. As you can see, you can add notes inside of here as well. But this is not a note taking app. You can't actually use it for note taking. Uh, again, a Kanban and uh, a GTD 
as well and they have a bunch of others but you are limited to three boards on the free plan when it comes to pricing the monthly pricing build yearly is 750 pro is built for 15 dollars each month and they have a five year option as well which is five dollars each month uh, for five years i can't do the maths uh, on that on the top of my head but at least that's the pricing with this you get a few new uh, things uh, you get more boards uh, you get the dark mode you get color labeling you get uh, file storage you get uh, as i said unlimited boards with unlimited list and goals expand images create mood boards link to board items to planner apple and google calendar integration unlimited goals and unique planner with flexible time frames and that's the thing the the things they offer in the pro plan especially getting more boards and having more goals is something that uh, probably is really important so i would say on this app the free plan is just to try it out and see whether or not it works for you in order to use this as your go-to application for to do so you will probably need to pay for the pro plan we have something called insights which is just a stat tracker you have the gallery here uh, which is all of the different templates they offer which i showed you a little bit earlier in the video we have climbs which i would call uh, i would call them challenges in order to become better whether that's 30 days of coding if you wanted to learn to code or become better at coding 12 steps to launch a business venture plan yearly content they have a lot of cool climbs inside of here uh, you are limited to one at the time if you are on the free plan, but these are actually amazing. I tried this one, Make Sleep Your Superpower, and it was really, really fun. Uh, so uh, the climbs are a cool feature as well. You have a calendar here, which shows you <laughs> your whole life, and these are all of the years that have passed. Um, and you can see uh you have two options here you can go for reflection where you can reflect or future thinking what do you have to do in the future that's uh, the two options you have here so they allow you to do reflection here as well which is another really cool feature uh, which means that you don't necessarily need another app to do your weekly or monthly or yearly reflections we have something called overview this is probably the thing that scares me the most so this is my life and all of the days that have passed uh, or it isn't actually my life but you can go in here and you can change your birth year i haven't done that i am not 40 44 years old yet still 20 to go yeah uh, but this shows you uh, fun facts uh, about different people and it shows you that for example you can lose 10 kilograms of weight by this time if today will begin to lose weight at the rate of one kilograms per month so things like that it shows you all of that and it also gives you fun fact about different people so at the age of 66 the composer frank wrote his only symphony uh, which is really cool and really really terrifying you also have this clock which is also really terrifying but i think it is a cool looking application the next one is things three which is the other uh, to-do list application i use on a daily basis uh, i started using it a couple of months ago and I have been loving it ever since. It has the today view, it has the inbox upcoming anytime someday. It has different areas and you can add projects within areas or you can just add projects inside of this. So this app has been a game changer for me personally. Unfortunately, it is just available on iOS devices. So Mac, uh, iPhone, iPad, uh, it comes at a cost of in norway it is 
599 Norwegian kroners, which is about 56, 57 US dollars, but prices might vary depending on where you live. Uh, and it is a one-time payment, uh, and it costs a little bit more on the Mac. Um, or it is actually 599 Norwegian kroners on the Mac, and it is a little cheaper on the iPhone. I think it was like that. Anyways, it is a one-time payment, which is good because um, some of these apps, for example, if you pay, uh, let's say, um, hundred dollars or eight dollars each month uh, for amazing marvin it comes it becomes quite expensive after a year or two with this you pay for it once and you are done finished that's something i like about this and i also do like the simple interface uh, and, and the fact that you have areas and you can add projects underneath areas the last one we are going to touch on is another one that is, uh, or actually this isn't the last one, I have one more, but uh, this is Apple Reminders. Terrible web interface, great on the mobile and the, and the Mac. Uh, again, it is available on Mac and iOS, but you can use this in the web version as well, but you get sort of a stripped down version. So I just wanted to mention this as well because it is available uh, by default on your iPhone. If you have an iPhone, uh, this is a great option for a to-do list application. The last app we are going to touch on is called uh, Super List and it is from the same people that made the app Wonder List which got acquired by Microsoft and is now what we know as Microsoft to do. Again, a really simple to-do list application. I love simple to-do list applications. You have an inbox, you have a today view, you have messages as well because this works for small teams as well. You have uh, all of your tasks uh, like this. You can check them off. Uh, you have different lists and you can add more lists inside of here. So I have a selection with lists underneath them. Uh, so personal stuff, YouTube video, these are groceries. Super list is a great simple to-do list application. And I would recommend going for a more simple one uh, than a, one with a lot of options to customize, at least if you haven't uh, been into to-do list applications for long, I would recommend starting with something simpler like this amazing application. And it has a team feature as well for smaller teams. Now let's take a look at the pricing on this. So it has a free plan, which allows you five shared lists, five collaborators per list and uh, 500 megabytes of storage which is, I mean, you wouldn't need any more than this unless you are on a team. Um, I would say that I probably haven't shared more than five lists, but they do have a pro personal plan as well, uh, which uh, gives you up to 25 collaborators per list, full integration access, which is something you might have liked. Gmail AI task summarization, again, something you might like, but it isn't necessary. Uh, and you get 500 megabyte uploads plus 25 gigabyte storage. Uh, and that is for $8 each month, or you can go for uh, the monthly, which is $10 each month. I would say that you can get away with using the free plan for most of us. Uh, I personally have never shared more than five lists to anyone, but if you share a lot of lists and you work together with people, uh, whether that's a household thing or it is for work tasks, this is, uh, this is an amazing application and paying for the pro personal is probably worth it. They do offer team plans as well, but I won't dive too deep into that in this video. If you want me to make um, 
full review just on Superlist and it pri its pricing. Please do leave it down below and I will try to get to it as soon as I can. This video is now around 20 minutes, so thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again quite soon.